Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to make use of collapsible sections to show and hide data not just inside a single data page, but also multiple data pages deployed on a single web page. In my live example, you can see how in my submission form, I am able to expand and collapse sections, all with a simple HTML and JavaScript implementation. I am also applying the same behavior to show and hide multiple data pages embedded on a single web page. This type of workflow, if desired, allows you to make your applications more functional from the end user perspective. Let's see how it's done. Inside my account, I already have the data page created. I'm going to click on Preview. And you can see how this form doesn't have those collapsible sections yet. Now let me show you how you can inject some simple HTML and JavaScript to control those collapsible sections. And the easiest way to do that is to simply go to W3Schools and look for something called Collapsible. And this should be the very first tutorial. And once you reach this tutorial, you will be able to play around in preview mode how these collapsible sections work to show and hide elements. And what I want you to do is just scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the one with the icons. And if I go back to my live example, you will see these icons on the right hand side to open and hide each one of these collapsible sections. So let's go back to W3Schools and all you need to do is click on try it yourself and then you're going to be able to see this code on the left hand side. So from here copy the entire style section and here you can right click and copy if you want to. And once you copy the code go back to your Caspio account and edit that data page. Hit next until you reach the screen for configuring properties, this one here. From here, you need to insert a header and footer. And in the header section, go into the advanced tab and disable the HTML editor. Go back to the standard tab and paste that entire style section that we just copied. You should be able to see all the code listed now in the header of your data page wizard. The next thing that we need to do is go back to the W3 tutorial once again, scroll all the way down, and copy the entire script. So this script, without going into too much detail, is what gives that dynamic functionality to show and hide these collapsible sections. So once you copy this script, go back to Caspio again, and in the footer section, go into the advanced tab, disable the HTML editor, and then in the standard tab, paste that code like this. So now you should have the script in the footer section and in the header section, you should be able to see that style. The last thing that we need to do is insert HTML blocks and wrap our content in between two HTML blocks for the content that we want to expand and collapse. So let me add my very first HTML block like this. Again, go into the advanced tab and disable the HTML editor. And now let's go back to the W3 tutorial. And go ahead and copy everything from button and div. So these first two rows, copy that. Go into your data page wizard and paste that inside the HTML block like this. Now, a little bit of syntax is needed here. We need to manipulate this code a little bit in order for it to function inside the data page because of the framework and how data pages are built behind the scenes. So first, we need to add two more tags, one for table and the other one for TD. And next to button, Let's call this type equals button. So it has like a button behavior when you click on it, it's going to carry an action after we click on that button. The next thing that I need to do is insert one more HTML block because I want to hide this information here. But before I do that, let's rename this. Let's call this contact information. You can call it whatever you want. It's completely up to you. Now let's insert that second HTML block disable the HTML editor. And all we need to do here is just close all of our tags. So close the div tag, table tag, and TD tag. So back into the HTML block. And this is how you're gonna close all of the tags. And from here, you can actually click on preview just to see the effect. So when you click on the preview button, now you can see how we have this first collapsible section. So when you click on the plus or anywhere inside this content, you're going to be able to expand that section and also collapse that section. And now we just have to repeat the process two more times very quickly to hide the remaining fields on our submission form. So let's go back to Caspio. 
And directly inside this HTML block, what you can do is go back to the HTML block number one, copy all of this content, go back to HTML block two, and then just hit enter a few times and paste. Let's call this section company information, like this. Let's add one more HTML block. For me, it's gonna be right about the follow-up date, like this, disable the HTML editor. Go back to HTML block number two and then copy those closing tags. Come back here and paste them. And then last thing that we need to do is just go ahead and wrap the remaining three fields inside a third section. So back to HTML block number two, copy these two rows of code. Back to HTML block number three, hit enter a few times and let's call this internal information. And one more HTML block left. And instead of you manually having to type all that information in to close all three of those tags, just go back to HTML block number three, copy this row, go back to your last HTML block, paste and hit preview. And now it should work correctly, where you can simply just go ahead and expand each section to show and hide each one of these collapsible sections. If you want to further manipulate this to change the aesthetics, you can go back to the style section and edit any one of those CSS attributes. For example, if I want to change the background color behind my fields, I can go back into the header section of my form. And where you see content, here's the background color, F1, F1, F1. So let's say we wanted that to be white. We can just change that color code, hit preview again. And now you will see when I expand the section, you will see how the background has the white background. Now let me show you how you can apply the same tutorial to a web page so that you can hide multiple data pages. For those that are a little bit more tech savvy who have a bit more of a technical acumen, if you understand how to edit HTML document, here is the content, the HTML content for my web page called details.html as you can see on the top. Now before I dropped all of my content in here, it was a completely blank HTML page. So you start off with the HTML tag and then in the head of your document, you're gonna paste that style section that we copied from W3Schools. Then you're gonna close the head section and in the body of your document, you're going to paste a button in the div for the content and then you're gonna close your div. Inside the HTML document, you don't actually have to type in the table TD tag. That's only needed inside a data page wizard because of the way the data page is built in the back end and you can add as much content as you want. And in between the content, between your opening div tag and closing div tag, you can add as many data pages as you want. You can see in this example, I have one, two, three, and four data pages embedded on this web page, And I'm hiding all four of these data pages in three different collapsible sections. Underneath that, I have my script also that I copied from W3Schools. Then you close your body tag, and finally you close your HTML tag. When you publish this web page, let's say you were to FTP this HTML page to your hosting provider, it's going to look something like this. Here's my details page, and within each section, I have a Caspio data page embedded. In the second section, I have two data pages. I have a submission form and a report. And in the final section, I have a chart embedded from Caspio. So we have four different data pages all embedded on a single web page and I'm hiding each data page in a collapsible section because I simply just copied that tutorial from W3Schools and I used that tutorial inside my HTML page. It's really that simple. A lot of this is just copy and paste and being able to know where to embed the Caspio data pages. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave us a comment down below. And for additional videos and articles, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching. <music>